Holland, Mish, Amber Bigwatsing was so close to being a Biden administration success story. A mother of five in the town of Holland, on the western edge of Michigan, Bigwatsing was finally able to consistently afford rent in 2021. Moving on from homeless and domestic violence shelters thanks in part to the help of stimulus checks and a higher child tax credit that came along with the president's economic assistance package that year. As the unemployment rate nationally and in Michigan fell over the next year, Bigwatsing found a job she loved, handling insurance billing for a dental office just three blocks from her new home. The dentist and his wife were kind and supportive. She was good at the job, and soon the dentist made clear they needed her full time. But with two toddlers too young for school, Bigwatsing discovered that she couldn't afford the daycare that would let her work five days a week. The cost, roughly $290 per child per week, or $3,480 per month, according to a billing estimate reviewed by the Washington Post, would be prohibitive even with a higher full-time salary, which would have netted roughly $2,000 per month in take-home pay. In late 2021, Congress had allowed the beefed-up child tax credit that helped her to expire, and legislation to direct more federal aid to child care died as well. Unable to afford the full-time care she needed, Bhagwat Singh lost her job in the dental office, and now she works two days a week as a clerk at the local courthouse, trying to thread the needle between earning enough to qualify for a state subsidy and still making little enough to keep the subsidy and her food stamps. She struggles to afford groceries, gas and other essentials, and she said she lives in constant fear of becoming homeless again. My son turns 14 tomorrow, and my two-year-old turns three on Saturday. I had to tell them mom's gifts will come a little later, Bhagwat Singh, 36, said in February. She said she voted for President Biden in 2020 but doesn't plan to do so this year. I tell myself, you don't have time to fall apart right now. I try not to actively think about it, but it brings on such an overwhelming sense of despair. Biden came into office promising to expand the safety net as no president has since Lyndon B. Johnson's 1960s-era Great Society, through sweeping legislation to help the economy recover from the COVID pandemic. But even though Democrats controlled both chambers of Congress until last year, he couldn't fulfill his most ambitious goals, stymied especially by opposition from Republicans and Senator Joe Manchin III, D.W. VA, who objected to sending more cash assistance to people as inflation took off. Most Americans have experienced economic benefits nonetheless, seeing rising wages, low unemployment and increased household wealth. But more than 40 million people, mostly outside the labor market, remain in poverty.